Hi, oh, different pianos in Piano Tech bring out, I don't know, a different kind of expressive response from me. It kind of works that way around as well. They they give me um, a certain kind of inspiration. And, and this is a strange process, really, as an improviser, because, you know, there's no one way to play one piano. It, it, it varies tremendously. And, you know, the mood you're in uh, means perhaps in a way a great deal more than than the piano you're playing on, but but, you, but being sympathetic to the instrument that you're playing on is a really vital thing. It's something that as a as a gigging classical pianist um, and playing on on different acoustic pianos, you you really have to sort of I think embrace that every piano has its own qualities. So what I would do to get used to any new piano when I was doing doing a concert would be to improvise on it. And just therefore, sort of through that spon more spontaneous, sort of almost conversation between me and the piano, I'd find out what sort of things the piano could do. So different pianos bring out different things. I've chosen just three to, to sort of illustrate this. Um, this first one is the, uh, and there's certain presets as well. So the presets vary. So this is the Steinway B, and it's the preset called Steinway B Gentle. And, well, let me just play a little bit on it first. So I was playing on it before, I was choosing the three, and I noticed how... Words are difficult here, aren't they? Um, how, how what? How, how impressionistic, how gentle, how sweet, I don't know, words don't really do it justice, but you see what I mean? It's got a very specific quality. And obviously you could do lots of different figuration, different types of figuration. It doesn't have to be like that. Just very sort of impressionistic chords, jazzy chords like this. And I talk about this way in which the, the, the piano kind of blooms, the way that the, the piano tech, like a real piano, sort of responds almost spookily to that expressive input in the way that the, the sound seems to bloom after the event of, of hitting, hitting the keys. So e e even if I hit this piano loud, even if I give it some real strength, it's got a certain quality that I'm intending now. I, I can feel it, so I can do some powerful stuff on this piano. But it's got this particular colour, this particular quality that I'm now intending. It's like I'm singing it, you see. And as a as a very sort of fluent musician, fluent improviser, kind of that's what that's what fluency is all about. That's what I pride myself on, really, is that that my inner intention, the music that I'm imagining, I bring it out. I can express it. I can say it. That's kind of what fluency is. So very much the piano, the actual piano sound is 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 part of that. So this is a, a, a really lovely instrument, a lovely preset that brings out certain things. Obviously, it's possible to fight against it if you've got a preconception about what you want. Um, and that can create problems. So you can find yourself disliking certain presets. The way around this I'm finding, because I, I used to have that problem. I mean, I was very sort of Steinway D orientated in piano tech for a long time, but I'm starting to realize now that so many of these pianos and different presets that, that the, the guys of, of piano tech have, have created are amazing. And I'm starting, I'm beginning to get interested in, in sort of creating my own presets as well to bring out different qualities. So I really like this one, Steinway Be Gentle. Really, really, oh, words fail me. Really whatever it is, impressionistic, sweet, kind of powdery, soft, I don't know, warm, but delicate, 
really nice. Okay, so another one. This one is, um, what is this one? This is the Blutner Improv. So words again are, are difficult to find to describe. This has a very different feeling from the last one, the, the Steinway B um, that I just was playing. It, it's, I don't know, the, the word earthy kind of springs to mind maybe. It's got a, a particular color, have a listen. So I've got a kind of strength to it, a certain quality of, of robustness. It brings something out, brings something particular out. I'm playing, you know, in a different way. Whatever style I choose to play, and I can play in different styles, but it's not the style of the music necessarily. It's more this kind of expressive response to, to sort of singing with that sound. It's a bit like having a different kind of voice, isn't it? Each piano has its unique voice. You wouldn't want all human voices to sound the same. I know there are genre-specific voices, um, but actually, if you think about it, maybe there aren't really. Maybe there are just certain tendencies in certain genres. Having a unique singing voice, I think, is a really important thing. And I think it's the same with the, with the piano. The, this is a very unique sound. The way that it blooms again, it's, you know, it's, it's responding somehow to my input. All right, so the last one. This last one is the K2 three mics. And what words did I note down there? I said, I said, it kind of feels very clean, feels very sort of neat in a way.
very clean, very um, a little bit sort of sweet, but there's a slight sort of cool kind of like you know it's not it's not as warm and sentimental sounding in a way as as some pianos that have that more kind of uh, roomy sound. Words again, words trying to describe things that words can't describe. Very unique quality. Certain kind of reserved sort of quality, you know, sort of reserved. It's not the most sort of extrovert sound. I don't know. It's difficult. Words are difficult. You can, hopefully, that I've you know by playing them, you know, I've just sort of shown you what I can I kind of do to 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 get each piano to have its own qualities. One of the things I'm thinking of doing, a little business idea I've had, is is um, is creating MIDI MIDI stems, MIDI little MIDI loopable extracts extracts with a, a preset and actually selling them in little packs. So. Watch this space. I might well might well do that, um, because obviously you know being a an improviser, I can um, create lots of music easily. So why not? Why not do this? Each piano, you see, is, I, I'm beginning to realise that each piano, each piano we have in piano set, and obviously there's quite a lot of them. I have you know I have the full the full pack, the full um, studio the studio uh, set of pianos. Each one can can add something different. Within a, a production or whatever, a different color, a different, a different style, a different quality, a different mood. I don't know, a different atmosphere. And I really want to explore that a lot more, and not just be stuck on playing the Steinway D all the time because it happens to be my my favorite. I mean, this new New York one, this new one is very much my favorite piano to play. It's fun to play, but it's really also great fun doing this. So, obviously, each piano you'll have everyone has their own favorites and all the rest of it. But I hope I've sort of giving you some idea of how each piano can have its own unique qualities. And I'll be sharing more, more videos like this, perhaps focusing more on one uh, single preset at a time, maybe even focusing on a particular kind of music that that preset's particularly good for.